shout of joy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Again tonight, by the word I've received, I'd like to especially welcome everyone of you into this fresh new year. So welcome to New Year 2024. I see God blessing you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, before we partake of this communion, I discover from all that have been said to us, from the cross overnight, even down to this world, that we have just received, I discover that the devil will not be our challenge this year. I mean, understand what I'm saying? The devil won't be your challenge. The devil won't be my challenge. If there will be any challenge at all, if there will be any challenge, then majorly it will be the challenge I call self-challenge. Devil won't be your challenge. If there will be any challenge at all, then self-challenge. Because if everyone can follow the underlisted item told us tonight, devil is not a problem. Devil is not a problem. Most importantly, that number one, assured new birth life. Not that you are thinking, am I born again? I was born again before. No, you have to be sure. You have to be sure. God will entrust wealth, fortune into the hands of people, but not unto any whole person. You must be a child of God. So devil won't be your problem. Devil won't be my problem. Major problem we have to this year is self-challenge. How to cope with the things of God. How to cope in a real time with the principles of God. That will be the major challenge. No Satan. No Satan. Because every time you and I insist, devil will never resist. No. No. So friends, your life is in your hands. My life is in my hand. We choose either to maximize it or to dash it against a rock. But I know you will not dash your life against a rock. I said I know you will not dash your life against a rock. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the wish has been blown. The race has commenced. It is for you and I to be determined to show whether or not you are born again or not. Not just being born again in church. Born again all around. Everywhere. In the market you are born again. In your homes you are born again. Not that you come to church they call you Brass Sunday. At home they say Brass Sunday. Come and see your people have come. That's a mockery. Brass Sunday. When they say want to see Brass Sunday. They say ah Brass Sunday come oh your people have come. That means he's doing what he ought not to do at home. His only church is born again. So we get to get to a point. Well, we determine our stand with God in order to experience the fortune that is aligned of our, I mean, ahead of us. And number four, he mentioned number four, he said, be committed to growing in revelation. Growing in revelation. That is spiritual understanding of the world. Not that what is going on. You say, I see, it's, it's like it's me they are preaching against. That's King Dagati. Baby in the house of God. A word is released that you need to, that hits your life. That you need to get back and rearrange your life to match up what you have heard. He says it's like it's me they are talking to. What's your problem? So with all the people inside church, it's only you. That the man will go and sit down and be developing his time to speak against you. That's non-entity. So every body needs to get to a time where we'll be matured. And say, so when it comes to you, God open your eyes, you swallow it raw. To have it all. You just adjust yourself. Because that area you are not doing well. God wants you to be adjusting. And get adjusted to a point. Where your life will begin to break forth. That is revelation. Not begin to read between the lines of the world. It's like pastor have me in mind. What's your problem? We get to a point where everybody. When you speak. You know something is happening. Where everybody become a man and a woman of me that can manage the altar of God. Preach not just a winner by seeker, but you are a revelation bound man and woman. And everything that comes away, 
He just opened it to you in a straight line. Glory to God. That's the Christianity where we're going in this year. And I pray that everybody will be matured enough in order to have the fortune that God has prepared for us this year. You won't miss your place. You won't miss your place. Don't forget. I told you some while ago, some few days ago, before we cross over, that my father, Bishop Yohei, told me, don't query your December, query your January. When the preparation platform, the wushu is already on, from Monday, uh -huh, we begin to determine how spiritual you are. Are you with me? To determine how the year will end for you. And I know the year will end better for you and I. Stretch your hand to this communion table. It is a communion of strength. Communion of strength. Communion of strength. Lord, I eat of this today to prepare for the year ahead of me. I eat of this today to prepare for the months, the weeks, the days ahead of me. Now stretch your hand here. Stretch your hand here. And take it from God. By the blood of Jesus tonight, Lord, strengthen me spiritually. Strengthen me. Lord, on every side, make me to be matured. Make me, oh God, to be spiritually enhanced. As I eat of the flesh of Jesus, I drink into his blood, Jesus Christ. Oh yes, I'm going through the rough times of the year in order to fly high in life. I receive it today. Somebody lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Come in on Stewart, please come. Let's partake of this strength of heaven today. And then God of heaven is taking you and I to the place of honor. He's taking you and I to the place of destiny. Stretch your hand and partake of this great meal today. Meal that will strengthen you and I. That will give to you and I what we require. Lord, I receive it today. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' most precious name, we have prayed. Lord, unto you who have come tonight, we lift up your blood before you and we ask, Lord, today, Jesus, this blood is sanctified. Let it be your blood indeed. That as we partake of your blood tonight, whatever couldn't hold of under your life will not have under us. Whatever couldn't stop you all through the journey of life will not stop us. So as we drink into your blood tonight, we drink into strength. We drink into perfection. We drink into spirituality. We drink into the fear of the Lord. That happens tonight in the name of God the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Lord, again, we present the flesh of your Son, Jesus. Let it be his flesh in thee. Whatever couldn't tear his flesh will no longer tear our body. Whatever couldn't molest his body, sickness cannot molest us anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, your flesh is sanctified tonight in the name of God the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Come and say louder, amen. amen. Please have your seat. Choir, give us a nonsense song, and then we partake of the communion. Glory to God.